A history was made at a footy game in the Northern Territory last week when an Indigenous woman commentated at an AFL game in an Aboriginal language. Yolongal woman Sylvia Newell Pendich from the remote Arnhem Land community of Millingimby commentated the Sir Doug Nichols round, which celebrates Indigenous culture and heritage in her own language, Yolongal. Let's have a listen. Fellow commentator and Indigenous man, the ABC Grandstands, Charlie King, joins me now from Darwin. Good morning, Charlie. Great to have you along. Yeah, good one, Dan. And isn't that a great story? It so is. What was your reaction when you first heard that Sylvia was going to be commentating this game in Yolongor? Well, I was surprised because I know some work had been done getting Indigenous men to call the game. And I should mention at this moment a guy by the name of Nick O'Reilly, who did a lot of that work up in northeast Arnhem Land, working with some young men there, teaching them how to call the footy. And I was pretty pleased with that when I went across and had a chance to have a chat with them. But then to hear that a uh, female was uh, going to be part of the commentary team, I was just thrilled. It's just it just seems to make a lot of sense and don't good ideas work like that when you hear them and you think to yourself well that makes sense and it just opens the door for other women particularly women of colour to be commentators and they do a great job and Sylvia was was fantastic and yesterday we had a lady by the name of Lelia Dunn from over on the Tiwi Islands the curtain raiser match in Darwin here was between uh, Gove and the Tiwi Islands and she came along and did the special comments and you know, they, they, they know they know the players. They know them better than anyone else. You, you can't learn what they already know. They can just do it off the cuff. So that was really good. But uh, Sylvia was terrific, I'm hearing. I, I didn't get to hear her uh, because I was tied up with commentary at that same time. But uh, from, what, from all accounts, she was fantastic. It was really good to see. Yeah, being a commentator in the top end of AFL footy at this time of the year is probably one of the busiest jobs going. I just want to pick up on one of the points you made there, Charlie, about uh, being a woman, an Aboriginal woman. What sort of message do you think this sends back to the broader Australian community, but also to those really remote communities as well? Yeah, well, I think it tells us that the answers for some of the problems in those communities actually lie with those people there. And this whole push during Reconciliation Week has been talking about empowering Aboriginal people. There it is. We're looking at it in real life. It's there, empowering Aboriginal women to get involved in Australian rules football. And we know on some of those communities that we've been involved with over the years, uh, when women got involved with the football, with the running of football on those communities, things changed. The way the game was played changed. It turned into a festival rather than clans clashing with each other and you know, payback happening out on the ground and all those sorts of things. Women brought a sense of, you know, calmness to it. And, and, you know, this belief that when two teams go out to play, one team's going to win and one team's not going to win. It's as, it's as simple as that. But that empowerment was the strong message. And we're going to see, I think, a lot more uh, Indigenous women coming to the fore and saying, I want to have a, have a go at this. And we were talking about race, uh, horse racing just recently in Darwin about no women actually calling horse racing and um, there's the Greyhound Association here saying well we, if, if women are interested we, we have trials during a week they can come and have a go at it and if they do okay we can use them so the door is opening the, the other 50 percent of our population now are going to be commentators I'm, I'm thrilled I'm, I'm a, I'm so happy. It's it's so good to hear and to see. Charlie, this has been work that you've been supporting, advocating for decades. It must feel like some sort of vindication when you see and hear other Aboriginal people there really excelling, sharing their story on whatever platform it is. Yes, and, and you know what, uh, Dan, I believe that the, 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 the next... I mean, I'm probably second generation, if you like, but I think the third generation, the next generation, our children are going to have a, a, a much stronger connection to their to their Aboriginal heritage and they're, and they're going to really embrace it. And they won't be asking for truth telling because they'll already know because they know everything already. But I, I think this, this is a really big moment in the, the history of race relations in Australia and we're a better place for it, I think, 
Yeah, and I wonder if part of that is not asking any more for truth-telling, but saying we are just doing it, we're getting on with it, this is the next stage. I wonder if you got that sense during Reconciliation Week in particular that we just had, that had that theme around be brave, make change. Yeah, indeed, indeed. I mean, I, you know, during Reconciliation Week, I, I think I probably just about every day I had opportunities to do presentations to different groups and, and, and it was well received. I mean, people just, people are ready for this, Dan. You know, the, the, the time is right. You know, we've had a change of government. There's, there's a more friendly government, if you like, in Canberra. Um, they're very clearly saying they want to hear the voices of Aboriginal people, the Uluru Statement and all of those things. This is a big moment and, we, and we've got to get it right. It's our, it's our time in the sun and we absolutely have to get it right because it's not only the right thing to do, it's a good thing to do and it just makes everybody feel better when they all get involved and we all are committed to making a difference. Yeah, and well, making a difference is what you've been doing of using uh, the sporting and on the field, particularly around your campaign of no more, of tackling family family related violence can you just let us know where are you at with all of that that big campaign what's happening on that front oh well it, it just keeps going down i mean i think this all started in 2006 uh, and it's you know it's just been going on and on and on and we see um you know some success happening and then you go forward and then you go back i mean it's, it's demanding work but gee there's some nice people working people committed you know, to be doing that work. And I've always said, you know, if you're not, if you don't feel this in your heart and you don't want to make a difference, don't do this work, this, you know, uh, you know, getting out the messages around family violence because it, it'll destroy you. So you've just got to be there and wanting to do it. So we, we're seeing some success. And I've got to tell you, I had an opportunity to talk to the North Melbourne football team uh, the day before this match and told them about the work we were doing and told them how we use linking of arms as a symbolic a gesture that we you know that we're committed to stopping the violence and they wanted to do it and they lined up out on Marara they linked their arms together and they walked across the ground no one was there but it was just men themselves making that strong symbolic statement that they are committed and the North Melbourne Football Club are committed and I was so proud of them yeah leadership and change Charlie King ABC grandstand host and no more founder thanks so much for joining us appreciate your insights this morning Pleasure, Dan. Thanks. Charlie's doing such amazing work, isn't Incredible. he? Incredible. Uh, and, and Sylvia looked so comfortable in the commentator's chair. Loving she? it. Loving it. I think, I think we're going to be hearing yeah. and seeing a lot more from oh, Sylvia. And yeah. I think we're, we're all the better off oh, in yeah. her insights. Oh, yeah, definitely. She's yeah. quite a warrior herself. Yeah, exactly.